Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Finally, I'm trying to get back in the swing of videos. It's just been crazy with work, um, the holiday season, my son's um, 11th birthday, just all kinds of things going on. But here I have for you another video. This is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series X Force 3 pack, the Shop Disney slash Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So Hasbro has shipped these out. They actually shipped mine out several days ago. But of course, with FedEx um, constantly delaying every single shipment that I get, um, I have not received it yet, but this weekend while I was down um, down in Southern California celebrating my son's uh, birthday, we went to Universal Studios, um, and we had dinner at um, Downtown Disney one night. So while there, I went to the World of Disney store, and of course, they had the three-pack available in-store um, for purchase. So I went ahead and picked one up because with this being an online, basically an online exclusive, I don't know how the paint apps are going to come out for some of these figures. So I figured while I have these right in my hand, looking at them, let me check over the paint apps. And if I get one, then, um, if they have a good one here, I'll go ahead and pick it up because who knows what's going to come, um, in the mail or through FedEx whenever they decide to deliver. So I went ahead and picked it up. So Disneyland, Disney World, I believe also has it. Whatever Disney Disney stores are still out there. I know a lot of them closed. All of the ones like in Northern California have all closed. There's like none anymore. So you can only go, you know, through shopdisney.com. Um, and so, and as far as I know, anybody that pre-ordered through Shop Disney has not gotten their order, but Hasbro Pulse has, and I believe it's still in stock, so link in the video description below. Uh, but here we have the uh, three-pack of Richter, Domino, and Cannonball. Cannonball that has legs, because the previous one that we got in the Wendigo Build-A-Figure did not have any legs, which a lot of people hated. I didn't mind it so much. Yeah, it was kind of crappy that there was no legs, but I thought it was a cool idea, but... I mean, I get it, right? No no legs, what the hell? But we got legs now, and we still actually get the uh, the blast-off flame effect. Looks to have um, some pretty cool paint apps on that one this time around. Um, a, a different version of Domino, because we did get a Domino in the Sasquatch uh, Build-A-Figure wave, the Deadpool wave. As you can see there, I really like this Deadpool, the way, this Deadpool, Domino figure. I really like the way it looks. Mine has a little bow-legged there. Um, and then Richter's kind of new. He's got an interesting design, so we'll check that out. Uh, but X-Force logo there. We get that 90s like card, trading card style on the side, as you can see there. So that is pretty cool. We get a look at those cards on the back of the package. So that is pretty cool. Richter, Domino, and Cannonball. We do not get any kind of bios or anything this time around, which, um, you know, they're they're pretty generic. Don't really give a whole lot of information, but still nice to have. But anyway, let's get to it and get these figures out of the package. Okay, and here are the figures out of the package. I'm going to try and keep this video as short as I can, and I know I always say that and the video ends up going super long, but I'm going to try um, and get through it as quickly as I can. There will be brief side-by-side um, -side comparisons of the two cannonballs, um, of the two dominoes, but I'm not going to bring out other members of X-Force like the Shatterstar figure, Cable, um, or any of those other figures because I want to try and move this along. We'll take a look at each figure individually, we'll look at each accessory that relates to each figure, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, but we will get through it as quickly as possible. For, for, so first up, let's start with the new uh, character. Let's go with Richter. So let's get in for a closer look at Richter and see his accessories so all the other figures around him just fall down. Okay, so here's an up-close look at the Richter figure, and this thing looks pretty damn accurate um, to how um, he looked in the comics when I was looking up images and things. Um, this is pretty pretty darn accurate. We get the X logo there in the front. That's going to kind of end up looking weird, you know, as you kind of move the ab crunch around. Um, the shoulder pads are done in this nice, like, metallic silver color, which is, which is actually really nice. It's all the same piece as the bandana here, and it just kind of rests over his head. So let's see if you pop the head off. Ooh, shaky camera. If you pop the head off, it actually just comes up, as you can see there. Um, but it is pretty cool. I really like the coloring on it with that silver color. Um, it actually came out looking really nice. So that is pretty cool. We get the little um, the arm bands there right at the top of the bicep, right at the swivel. The belt on there is kind of a floating belt. It's kind of an empty belt buckle there. But there is a little bit of silver painted in there, not a whole lot. Um, the pouches, the buttons on the pouches or anything like that, it's all just done in that green uh, rubber material. These hands, I'd have to take a look if these hands um, are new or if they're reused, but like here on these ones, he has the, the half finger glove. Um, so these ones look 
looks like they could be new or that maybe they're with Captain America, but I think these might be new. So those actually look really good. You actually get wrinkles right at the knuckles as well. And that's not just like bad paint of where the end of the gloves were. Um, nice sculpted wrinkles for the gloves as well. So those are actually done quite nicely there. We get this blue and black pattern. Depending on some images, it looks like it could be some shell, cell shading type of stuff, but some images looks like this just kind of part of the design. So it's interesting. Um, another interesting uh, thing here is we have a pin on the top of the leg, but the lower leg, it does not have a pin at the knee. So I don't know if this is the first figure of half pin, half not pin, pinless. Um, but the, just thought that'd be interesting there. Um, these boots definitely new, has a very like wrinkled look to it. Um, looking at comics, that is very accurate. We kind of get these spiked uh, bands there on his feet, right on his boots. Um, those are actually kind of sharp, but it's done in this nice like silver metallic color, just like these shoulder pads are. That looks pretty good there. Um, and for the accessories, he has the two, um, the uh, the one extra set of interchangeable hands, and then he has these bubble effect pieces um, that we've seen uh, used quite a bit. And now that I say that, I think it's been a while since we've actually seen them. I can't remember what the last figure to use them, but um, here we have them again. We get two, so you could put them on like each hand if that's what you want to do. So next up, let's look at Domino. Okay, so here is an up close look at Domino, and Domino was one of the ones. So depending on you know which one you get, this uh, this face mask piece was kind of all over the place on some other ones. It either sat really high or it sat low, and it just looked um, kind of funky. You know, the '90s had some interesting designs. Uh, but this figure is like half good, half not. We get the old lower um, body of uh, for uh, the figure, the female body mold, which you know sucks when you have pins on there on white but the plastic was done with this blue color so that's just really noticeable and really stands out um, the upper body though is really nice we get double jointed elbows that are pinless Domino was actually the first female figure to have the announcement that pinless double jointed elbows were coming for female figures um, you know the Riri Williams Ironheart uh, figure was the first to release to have it um, but Domino was actually announced first, and this was part of the the Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest, I think it was called, way earlier this year. Um, so that is pretty cool. But we get this nice metallic, like purplish pink color throughout. So in some of the armor pieces, the shoulder pads, the belt, the leg band there, all looks pretty good. Um, he, she is one where you really want to watch the paint apps the way the blue and the white so the plastic is the blue the white is painted over so you really want to take a look at you know how that paint is looking because you know there's going to be some paint chipping and paint rub in some areas which kind of sucks that that's going to happen these little buttons here get painted with that same metallic uh, pink color and that all looks really good the shoulder pads actually move with um, the shoulder so that is quite nice it's not like glued onto the torso or anything like that so that is done actually really nicely but yeah looks really good oh and another thing um, her hand the trigger finger hand actually has the vertical hinge so that is pretty good especially you know when she's wielding weapons which she does come with she has two and I think this one actually came with the um, we've seen this one before I'm trying to think if it came with Domino before um, but I know we've seen this one before it's just done in black plastic with some nice metallic silver paint right up top there that looks really good the silver came out looking really nice uh, but she also has a secondary one now this one looks interesting I don't think we've seen this one before I know the previous domino figure did come with two guns but it was nothing like this this looks odd and super futuristic you guys let me know down in the comments below if you've seen this specific weapon um, in the comics or if it's something that Hasbro created but it is very interesting looking same silver paint on this one as the other one and that just looks really good as well and then she also comes with one set of interchangeable hands so she has a pair of fists out of the package she has two trigger finger hands vertical hinge on the right standard horizontal hinge on the left um, and then we will see the comparison with these two a little bit later next we're going to move on to cannonball okay so here is cannonball we get a lot of newer stuff with this since it's essentially a re-release or repaint um, and this is, you know, when Hasbro does this, and they do it quite often, right? Let's be honest. 
um, but not with all characters. Usually when you have, like, with Cannonball, um, you know, they no probably wouldn't have done so many releases. You know, it's only two, and it's essentially the same thing because, you know, the upper half is the same. Um, but they did make some improvements and some changes to things, so that is really cool. So um, I won't get into the full comparison here, but looking at it, um, we get more paint details on the jacket. So these little padded areas there, we actually get paint right there on the shoulders. We get paint. This one didn't have any whatsoever. So we actually get some on here. So that is one improvement there. His blast off effect looks a lot better in this new one than in this old one. And in fact, this old one, I always felt looked like backwards. I always felt it should look like that. But then you have the like the printed serial number like right on the front of it. So that would mean like that's the back. But to me, this just doesn't look right. Um, we don't get that serial number printed on the front or back or whichever on this one, so we don't have to worry about that. But we get this really nice, like, orangish metallic um, look to it, and it's cut like two tone. We get some reddish orange and some brighter orange, and then it kind of frosts into this um, pale orange, and then the smoke color, the white, kind of frosted around it. Just looks really good. Looks like a more realistic like blast effect. Whereas this one just kind of looks like fire. Could work for fire, but if he's blasting off, this is kind of the idea that you would want to see um, on him. Um, but yeah, so paint deco differences also, those kinds of things. But we get a new head sculpt. So lo looking at the two head sculpts, they easily could have just done the same like head piece here because it's just like glued on or whatever but we actually get a new ma a newly made one because look at the goggles these goggles are huge whereas the old one had small oval ogle oval goggles whereas this one has the rectangular lens goggles so that is all new the hair piece is new the head sculpt is new because we don't get that greening head we get kind of that straight face but straight face but we also get that same head sculpt kind of re um, redone a little bit in here um, essentially the same, but instead of black goggles, the goggles are kind of a dark brown to match. Same as this one here. So we get that same head sculpt. So that is pretty cool. No other accessories for um, Cannonball, just, you know, that flame effect. Uh, but looking at the figure, this is another one where you really want to look at the paint apps if you had the option. Because right where the purple and the white meet, there was a lot of fuzziness without the crisp lines. There's some wrinkles in the suit, which makes it kind of look wavy there. And they were all like that, unfortunately. Um, so this hip piece, I want to say is going to be new. So we get like what looks like little cartridges there. Looking at the back of the figure, a little bit of paint detail on the boots. And there we go, so there is Cannonball. Now to use the effect piece, we just set it there. You can see the peg hole up at the top there. And you just yank on the figure to bust him in half. Um, and then you, here you have the legs, here you have Cannonball. And you could just port him right in there. And then like so, he can blast off. Yeah, there we go. Just like this one, same, essentially the same, same deal. Now I'm sure everyone's gonna want to know, how does this one look with these legs? The purples aren't exactly a match, but it does not look terrible. But again, the purples don't match because we get a white shirt here, whereas the new one has the purple shirt. That purple matches the legs, whereas this purple doesn't actually match the jacket, doesn't match uh, the design of the shirt there. Um, it doesn't work, but that's something that you could do if that is what you wanted to do. So now we'll go over quickly the articulation for Domino and Richter. Okay, so Richter's articulation, he can look down somewhat, but because there's a lot going on with this piece over the neck, he's not going to get a whole lot of range of motion. He has long hair, so he's not going to look up whatsoever. You can get some rotation in there, but the long hair is going to hit his shoulders, so please be aware of that. You can get the arm to go basically just straight out there. You can do a full rotation, but again, he's got the shoulder pad, so you want to be careful there. Try not to do it if you can avoid it. We have upper bicep swivel in there. You get a double jointed elbow like so. Wrists swivel and they do hinge. Ab crunch so Richter can crunch forward that much, which is not a whole lot. Crunch back a little bit. Again, not a whole lot. We have a waist swivel in there. Legs go out that far apart, so it's really not a whole lot. He can kick forward that high, which is pretty good. Uh, the figure doesn't really go back. You have an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed knee, half pinned, half pinless. 
but that much bend there and then this knee pad piece um, it looks you know it's part of the knee pad but it loops uh, the kneecap but it loops around in the back it's almost it's a floating like it's a floating kneecap uh, but it does not move or anything like that no boot swivel but we get a calf um, hinge not calf hinge foot hinge at the ankle up a little bit um, ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet so that is Richter's articulation we'll go to cannonball uh, so he gives a swivel at the blast effect pop that off and put his legs back on him um, so we have a waist swivel there of course legs go out that far apart which is pretty good he can kick forward that much not a whole lot I believe these are just standard bucky cap legs by the way leg doesn't really go back upper uh, thigh cut double jointed knee like so you get a swivel at the boot foot hinges down quite a bit we get a little bit of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet cannonball can look up no problem so if you want to get into a flight pose you can do that full rotation of course not a whole lot of pivot going on in there you can get the shoulder to go out straight uh, full rotation upper bicep swivel in there double jointed elbow like so and then wrists swivel and they do hinge ab crunch he can crunch forward that much not a whole lot he can go back a little bit but then the jacket is going to get in the way so that is cannonball's articulation next we will go to domino and domino is frustrating because these legs are just hard to work with because they want to go right back super close together it's like they don't want to stay far apart at all and then it's difficult getting her to stand and kind of getting her to balance so be aware of that uh, but domino can look down that much he can look up that much since she has short hair which is great full rotation insane amount of pivot because we have the dumbbell joint um, in there since we have a newly sculpted upper torso you can get her shoulder to go out straight and a little bit up full rotation of course and again the shoulder pad moves with that shoulder which is great upper bicep swivel in there we have a double jointed knee but this not knee elbow but man these joints are very 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 tight so you have to kind of work it but there you get a double jointed elbow as you can see wrist swivel and they hinge again horizontal hinge vertical hinge on her right hand the diaphragm joints she could pivot to her left that much which is pretty good she could pivot to her right that much which is pretty good going back a little bit coming forward is always 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 a disappointment with these female figures they just do not get the range of motion in there we have a, a diaphragm swivel there since there is no waist swivel on female figures these legs are terrible they go that apart, that far apart she can kick forward that high leg goes back not really upper thigh cut in there it's very stiff double jointed knee like so no calf swivel or anything like that. Foot hinges down. We get some hinge up. Ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet. Now let's see a little bit of those side-by-side um, -side comparisons with Domino, Domino, Cannonball, and Cannonball. Okay, and so here we have the two Domino figures. This one is definitely one that um, is I feel is the better figure. Um, classic suit, X4 suit is, is one thing, but the figure execution is just not really well. Um, the legs are just really difficult to work with, making it difficult for her to stand. It looks like she's leaning and see how the leg just wants to get closer and closer together. Like you can't spread the legs out because they just want to kind of close back up. And that's frustrating and a pain in the ass when you're trying to pose or do something with the figure. Um, it's just unfortunate. They did a great job with the upper body. It's just you know the lower body really really kills it um, but I really like this domino more than this um, domino figure here but you guys let me know down in the comments below uh, which one you prefer okay so here we have the different cannonballs looking at the two blast effects which one do you prefer um, kind of the shinier fire looking one or the one that actually truly looks like he's blasting off that has a little bit of that smoke effect going on in there let me know in the comments below uh, again the figures are essentially the same but we do get you know the two different head sculpts which are quite nice. Um, the lenses are done with a nice silver metallic color. 
Um, the legs are just okay because they're, you know, they're bucky cap. Not a whole lot going on for Cannonball, but it is nice to actually have his legs now. That way you at least have the option. The blast effect is great, um, but when you don't have the option to do anything else, literally he just would have to be flying through the air or getting ready to fly through the air. You know, it's kind of frustrating, but um, definitely a nice update, you know, adding paint apps where paint apps could go versus just re-releasing the figure the exact same way. You know, they change up the colors a little bit, add some more paint detail. Um, so that's what they should be doing when it comes to reissues. But you guys let me know in the comments below. And then, of course, Richter. Richter is really cool because it's a character that we have not gotten before in the Marvel Legends line. The design is interesting. The 90s were a fun time. Um, it's a little bit weird, you know, the tassels for the arms, the green, the black, the blue. Like, colors look really weird as well. Um, but it's just one of those things. It's cool when you can get something that's pretty comic accurate. There's a couple of things here and there, you know, there's no green stripe running down the side of the legs, which it looks like in some images you could see. Um, but... Really cool to get another character as opposed to the same characters over and over again. Um, but you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this Richter figure? Okay, and there is the X-Force um, 3-pack that is exclusive to Shop Disney and Hasbro Pulse. You guys let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts on this X-Force pack are. Um, did you get yours from Shop Disney? Because I'm curious. I don't know if anybody had their orders shipped yet or not. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I have more Power Rangers figures that are going to be coming up. I don't think I have anything new for Marvel Legends that's going to be coming for a while. Um, Nerd Zoic had, had posted on, um, in one of the Facebook groups that he was going to be getting the Scarlet Witch and Vision, the retro carded figures this week. Um, I have not heard back yet if, um, he's gotten them, if they're still going to ship out this week or not. Uh, but those will be the next legends coming up. But in the meantime, I've got lots of Power Rangers figures, uh, to review for you guys. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching.